Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Puriya and in this video I'm very excited to show you our open source module for WIOS. If you are not familiar with WIOS, it's an open source router and firewall solution. And this is the website. I'll make sure to link it in the description. By the way, there is a change in this video. If you have followed this series so far, you have seen that we have been doing all of these examples inside of a, a virtual machine that I have in the cloud but in this one since uh, it's a little bit different and you can easily run it yourself I decided to move everything to my own machine but don't worry I'm gonna show you everything from scratch and we will build up from there so first things first we need to go to, go to our github page github.com slash imanta then examples I'm just gonna clone this let me grab my terminal here we go clone here we go now if we go to my VS code we can see everything here let's go to networking now we are having a virus folder as well and it has two examples interfaces and OSPF but what's more important for me here is this container lab folder inside of it we are having an additional file which is this docker compose as well as the good old trusty C lab topology file let's quickly check it out so inside the C lab topology file we are defining two BIOS routers with this version and this and this IP address and the connectivity is very simple they are directly connected on their ETH1 however in docker compose file things are a little bit different we have uh, a Postgres server and in Monta Orchestrator our OSS version or open source software you don't need to pay anything you can just pull it down it's already available and when I run the docker compose command you see can we see we can go and fetch it and run it easily we don't need anything and all locally on your machine okay let's start with deploying the C lab first let me go to my terminal here CD networking via container lab the command is sudo clab deploy tag t topology okay if you notice that my container id is changed it's because my laptop froze and i was talking to myself for a few minutes fun times anyway let's continue now that we have uh, our containers up and running our virus containers we need to bring up a month orchestrator and the postgres server as well the command for that is docker compose up so let's just view the status here everything is functioning well let me explain one more thing here we could put the content of this docker compose file inside of our topology file as well but we made a decision to make it decoupled and more understandable for the beginners okay if you notice here in the docker compose file the imant orchestrator is residing at this IP address and is functioning on quadruple 8 so if we head to my browser now and open a new tab we should be able to see it functioning very well let's create an environment I'm gonna call this examples let's name it wires submit then I need this environment ID let's get it from here which is more readable for you copy let's go to my editor inside of my virus project I'm gonna create a file that in Manta here in the brackets I say it's a 
config section y and y run and is equal to that so whenever I'm pushing configuration to the server I don't need to specify this environment ID anymore let's save it and close it I don't need it anymore the next step would be to preparing the development environment and for that we will go to my terminal open a new tab and we will create a python environment python 3 tag m v env let's put it in my virtual ems directory and i'm gonna call it vias here we go now i'm gonna activate it virtual ems vias bin activate here we go now we need to install imanta here so pip3 install in Manta. While Imanta is being installed in my development environment, let me explain something for you. Let's go to the editor. Inside container folder, we are having VIAS1 and VIAS2 CFG. These are the config files that you require in order to make these routers operational because by default you cannot ssh into them all right how do we do that let me grab all of these copy it let's head back to my terminal here let's see the running containers okay i need these two here let's start with the first one this one docker exec this one then we'll go to the bios shell configure and now we will paste whatever we have here perfect now we exit from that repeat the same step for the other router so docker exec Yes. configure let's grab the config here perfect now we can try to see if we can ssh to them ourselves the username is yos and the password we just set it to yos2 okay uh, 10 11 1200 I had these containers before so let me just do this yes vias and perfect let's quickly check the existing configuration which is almost nothing just a default here you go interface we are having a loopback interface but there is nothing inside of it okay let's exit from here we have everything that we needed to just delegate the control to Imanta now next step would be to write some models okay let's close this and this open the main file I'm gonna borrow the models inside interfaces and OSPF so the idea is to set IP addresses on these point-to-point -point interfaces between these two routers at the loopback interface and configure OSPF and have OSPF advertise that route to its peer then we are going to check the connectivity so if you go to the interfaces here we can grab some of this this is all I need let's go back to main file so we can say router one is okay 
for the username I know it's Vyas password is also Vyas the management IP for the first one is 10 11 12 100 this should be also like this now we are referring to R1 in the interface now we need to specify the address here so the address is equal to let's say 172.16.1.1 slash 24 what else do we need? OSPF configuration so let's go here I need all of this okay so let's go with uh, 172.16.1.0 the router ID is gonna be the same thing 172.16.1.1 and we are re redistributing the connected routes this is a one but I need my loopback interface as well let's just introduce it here I follow the same structure as you see on line 29 so it's loop back the host is gonna be R1 and the address is let's go with something distinctive so 10 20 30 40 slash 32 now I need to repeat the same pro process for router 2 I'm gonna grab all of this let's separate them like this paste this is gonna be router 2 the IP is 200 this has to be R2 interface 2 let's change this here to R2 IP address is gonna be also 2 for the loopback let's go with 50.60.70.80 here we go 2 2 and Two. now let's see if I made any mistake and if we can compile this model heading back to the terminal we can say in Manta tag vv compile tag f main.cf oh first I need to come out of this one there we go so in Manta tag vv compile f main.cf by the way if you are working with this main.cf file you don't really need to provide this tacf option there it's just out of habit for me oh I forgot the most important part we need to install this project how do we do that in Manta project install let's go to my VS code now we see this libs folder being populated here and if you're wondering where, where they are coming from they are coming from this repository here okay now let's compile the project in Manta tag vv compile tag f main.cf and it compiled fine don't worry about these warnings this is something that we can uh, explain in further videos but we haven't seen any errors and the compilation succeeded now we need to uh, push this to the server let me clear the screen first now we say in Manta tag vv export tag f main.cf here we go let's check the web console resources and we can see the resources let's for example check this 
resource here for the interface it's pretty cool you can even see the commands that we are sending to the device so it's gonna take some time not that long and then we should be able to see the status on the routers so I'm gonna pause the video and get back to you when it's done the deployment is done now it's time to check the configuration on our routers so let's head back to the terminal here we go let me clear this so we SSH to the first one here we go let's do a show configuration we can see we have set an IP address on ETH1 now we are having a loopback interface and we have configured OSPF now let's check the neighborship neighbor here we go we can see the other router let's also check the routes show IP route and here we go let's also ping it that's it nice let's also check the same thing on router 2 show configuration there we go show IP OSPF neighbor and that's it show IP route let's ping this IP here as well beautiful now one more important thing if you have been following our previous videos you know we don't really like doing the models like this meaning we are having lots of duplications just a tiny amount of differences between router 1 and router 2's models in the next video again I'm gonna show you how you can efficiently make a proper model for this and deploy it without any duplication and possible errors I would like to thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye